All right, we got a uh, Lawrence HDS7 on the bench. Uh, sonar is not working. Let's test it real quick. <clears throat> uh, we have this hooked up to our sonar test rig. Uh, it's a 10 foot pipe filled with water, um, transducer on one end. Should read about 10 foot depth. And we get no depth reading here, so definitely doesn't work. We're going to take this thing apart and see what's going on. Okay, just doing a visual inspection on the board. Uh, we haven't taken it out yet, but just uh, the top of the board looks okay. Uh, what we're going to do is just take some voltage readings uh, for the sonar section of the circuit without the transducer connected. See what we find. Still booting. Takes a little while for these to boot up. Once this boots in the sonar section of the, the board is enabled, we should get around 55 volts. Okay. Let's see what we get. Let's take the board out and see what's going on here. Uh, we're getting nothing to the... Um, to the final section of the sonar circuit. This is the final section before it goes to the connector and the transducer. Uh, these MOSFETs, uh, they should have around 55, uh, 55 to 56 volts on them uh, for what we've seen in the past. So let's get this board out. Well, I think we found the problem here. Problem is we don't know what that component is. Um, so just from past experience, I'm pretty sure that the component underneath the burnt up component is a uh, xenodiode. And I'm pretty sure up here, this guy was a uh, P channel MOSFET. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off the burnt up component, pop a P channel MOSFET in place of that and see what happens. I'm not very hopeful. Um, fact that resistor looks bad too so I'll have to replace it as well
Okay, so that uh, second MOSFET in is shorted. Uh, so that's what's taking out that small MOSFET on the bottom side of the board in that resistor, it seems like. So um, I'm going to replace or I'm going to reinstall those three good MOSFETs and I'm going to replace that uh, shorted MOSFET. And then um, I'm going to replace that P channel MOSFET on the back side and I'm going to place that, replace that resistor again on the back side. And then we'll kind of see where we're at. All right, so we replaced a small P channel MOSFET on the back side of the board uh, in addition to a 6.8 ohm resistor that was also toasted. Uh, we tested it. They went up in smoke again. Uh, so we did some further troubleshooting. We found a uh, end channel power MOSFET um, on the output section of the sonar circuit was shorted. So we, re uh, we removed that. We replaced it with uh, TO220 package style. We didn't have any surface mount in the shop right now. We have a P channel surface mount, but we're still waiting on a supply end channel to come in. Anyway, uh, the TO220 package style should be fine. I was a little concerned about uh, heating, <clears throat> so I took a little piece of copper clad board, made sort of like a little makeshift heat sink. It's going to work perfectly fine. Uh, we installed that on the board. You can see it right here. It just acts as a little heat sink. Shouldn't be any issues. Uh, there should be plenty of room with the case. Um, and what else? Uh, we replaced the little P channel MOSFET and resistor again. Uh, we turned it on and they didn't smoke this time. They were good. Uh, so we're going to see if sonar works now. Uh, sonar is a tricky thing to troubleshoot and repair. It's just, it's pretty complicated um, in general how the sonar circuits are designed. Um, so it's usually a more difficult repair. So let's see. I'm gonna pause the video, let this thing boot. Okay, we're back here. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Yes, it works. We got 10.1 foot depth, which is good. 9.9 .9 to 10, somewhere around there. Uh, we're using our test rig, which is a 10 foot piece of drain pipe filled with water with a um, transducer on the side. 58 degrees. I mean, look at that, guys. Sweet. That did it. Awesome. Awesome. All right, we're going to let this thing run uh, just to make sure... You know, nothing does heat up and uh, nothing fails again, but 
Jeez, sweet. We're going to let this thing sit. I'm going to go make some coffee, let this thing sit a while, and uh, we'll get back. All right, it's been about a half hour or so. This thing's still chugging along perfectly. Look at that, 10 foot depth. Temp is rising because I have the heater on in the shop now. Still a little chilly here in northern Maine. Uh, if you guys have any fish finders, uh, Lowrance, uh, Garmin, Hummingbird, uh, any issues with them all or any electronic devices, we fix anything electronic, uh, feel free to go to www.rudolphrepairs.com. Uh, click on the mail-in form to mail something into us. Uh, we offer free on-bench estimates. Uh, you can give us a call, 1-800-517-9101. Uh, shoot us an email, RudolphRepairs at gmail.com. All right, until next time, guys.